The Large Hadron Collider is one of the wonders of the modern world. It's believed to be the largest and most complex machine mankind has ever created. Scientific discovery plays a crucial role in expanding our understanding across disciplines like physics, astronomy, and cosmology. Recently, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, has been leading the way in cutting-edge scientific exploration. The scientists at CERN have made a groundbreaking discovery that has challenged our understanding of the universe as it defies all explanations. Keep watching this video to find out more about this discovery that has taken the scientific community by storm. CERN's diverse approach to exploring fundamental physics questions, like understanding matter and the universe's origins, has led to groundbreaking discoveries, transforming our grasp of the physical world. Using advanced technology, collaborative research, and a commitment to scientific excellence, CERN continues to expand scientific knowledge and open up new avenues for discovery. At CERN, researchers using the Large Hadron Collider uncovered three new subatomic particles. This colossal particle accelerator, known as the LHC, is the world's largest and most powerful. It started operating on September 10, 2008, and remains the newest addition to the CERN Accelerator Complex. The 27-kilometer-long LHC itself was the tool that detected the Higgs boson particle. Along with its associated energy field, it's thought to have played a crucial role in the universe's development after the Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago. The Large Hadron Collider underwent its third setup, leading to the discovery of three exotic particles several years after helping locate the elusive god particle or Higgs boson. As CERN researchers, they found the first ever pair of tetracts and a new variety of pentaquarks, adding three more hadrons to the list discovered at the LHC. Before delving into the details of these findings, let's take a closer look at the medium through which these discoveries unfolded. At CERN, physicists and engineers use cutting-edge scientific equipment to explore the basic building blocks of matter or particles the largest and most advanced setup of its kind worldwide. Near the speed of light, subatomic particles collide, unveiling insights into their interactions and revealing the fundamental rules of nature. Are you wondering how it works? CERN's specialized equipment includes particle accelerators and detectors, Particle beams receive a high-energy boost from accelerators before colliding with other beams or stationary targets. Detectors monitor and record the outcomes of these collisions. The CERN Control Center houses all accelerator controls, services, and technological infrastructure. Around the accelerator ring, four locations Atlas, CMS, ALIS, and LHCB are selected for the collision of LHC beams before they reach the accelerator. Two high-energy particle beams, nearly as fast as light, travel through tubes held in an extremely high vacuum. These beams move in opposite directions through separate pipes, guided by a powerful magnetic field sustained by superconducting electromagnets. Specially designed electric cable coils make the electromagnets work in a superconducting state, conducting electricity with no resistance or energy loss. To make it work, the magnets need to be cooled down to minus 271.3 degrees Celsius, even colder than space. That's why a big part of the accelerator connects to a system with liquid helium, chilling the magnets and other stuff. The beams get directed using thousands of magnets in all shapes and sizes. There are 392 quadrupole magnets, each 5 to 7 meters long, and wetting 232 dipole magnets that are 15 meters long and bend the beams. Another kind of magnet is used to squeeze particles closer right before they collide, upping the chances of a collision. Imagine trying to precisely shoot two needles 10 kilometers apart until they meet halfway, that's how tricky it is to get particles to collide. There are seven massive detectors, like digital cameras the size of cathedrals, set up to grab data on these super rare particles that briefly show up. CERN, the lab that started in the 1950s, is near Geneva right on the Swiss-French border. It's one of the first unions in Europe with 23 members. Nowadays, over 10,000 scientists from 100-plus countries visit CERN each year to use its facilities, including some of the biggest and most advanced scientific instruments ever made. Scientists aim to understand the materials that make up our universe and the physical principles governing their behavior. In 1995, researchers created antihydrogen, the antimatter counterpart of hydrogen, in 2000, they discovered cork-gluon plasma, a hot, dense particle soup. 
The Large Hadron Collider at CERN revealed the Higgs boson in 2012, earning its discoverers a Nobel Prize. Speaking of the LHC, it's the most powerful particle accelerator around. Physicists use it to smash tiny subatomic particles together at incredibly high speeds, recreating conditions similar to the early universe after the Big Bang. By studying the aftermath of these collisions, researchers seek answers about matter's composition and how particles gain mass. As the LHC at CERN gears up for its third round of data collection, physicists have identified numerous new and unusual particles resulting from its collisions. To bring some order to this expanding particle zoo, the team has devised a new naming method, naming 59 out of the latest 66 particles. Their goal is to uncover more insights into the fundamental components of the cosmos. Considering the multitude of recently discovered particles, let's revisit the discovery. The global LHCB collaboration at the Large Hadron Collider has identified a novel pentaquark and the inaugural pair of tetracks featuring a new type of tetrac. Unveiled at a specific conference, these revelations bring the count of newfound unconventional hadrons at the LHC to an ever-increasing total of three. These discoveries will assist scientists in understanding the amalgamation of quarks that give rise to these composite particles. In essence, quarks serve as the fundamental building blocks of matter. Simply put, they often reside within protons and neutrons, which constitute the essential components of every atom in the universe. Quark particles typically join forces to create hadrons like protons and neutrons, forming atomic nuclei in groups of two and three. Tetraquarks and pentaquarks, denoting four and five quark particles, respectively, can also amalgamate, albeit less frequently. Physicists foresaw these exotic hadrons around six decades ago. However, it's only within the past two decades that the LHCB and other experiments have verified their existence. The LHCB consortium's findings include new varieties of uncommon hadrons. The first pentaquark with a distinctive quark has been unveiled. This result holds immense statistical significance, boasting a staggering 15 standard deviations far surpassing the five standard deviations required in particle physics to confirm particle detection. The second type, a tetraquark carrying two electrical charges, emerged in tandem with its neutral counterpart during a comprehensive analysis of positively charged and neutral B meson decays. Enter the open charm tetrac, comprising a charm quark, a strange antiquark, an up quark, and a down antiquark. These novel tetracks represent the inaugural pair of their kind, discovered with statistical significances of 6.5 and 8 standard deviations. By identifying new varieties of tetraquarks and pentaquarks and gauging their properties, scientists pave the way for constructing a coherent model of exotic hadrons, the precise nature of which remains largely enigmatic. Historically, Every freshly unearthed particle seamlessly fits the model of a baryon or meson. Diverging from conventional wisdom, various theoretical models propose exotic hadrons as pairs of standard hadrons loosely interconnected to form a structure reminiscent of a molecule. This stands in contrast to the concept of singular units comprising tightly bound quarks, as posited by certain models. The true identity of these particles, whether they exist as one, the other, or a combination of both remains uncertain, awaiting further exploration in the realm of strange hadrons. The extended shutdown of the LHC is on the horizon and is expected to happen between 2026 and 2028. This break marks a significant phase as the LHC gets major upgrades and a name change to the High Luminosity LHC. Brace yourself because this upgraded setup is set to produce luminosities almost 30 times greater than anything seen in the past two decades. These ambitious upgrades are a game-changer, pushing physicists into new territories where they can push the standard model to its limits. The high-luminosity LHC aims to uncover mysteries in particle physics, giving us a peek into previously inaccessible realms. As the shutdown approaches, excitement builds for the unveiling of unprecedented insights and discoveries, ushering in a new era of scientific exploration and understanding. During the expected break, the high-luminosity LHC is ready to redefine the boundaries of scientific exploration. The planned enhancements represent a significant leap, not just in the collider's capabilities, but also in our understanding of the universe's fundamental building blocks. With luminosities hitting new levels, 
Physicists are gearing up to explore elusive phenomena and dive into areas previously covered in mystery. The post-2028 era promises a scientific revival, revealing discoveries that could reshape how we understand particle physics and maybe give us glimpses into the profound unknowns that continue to captivate the scientific community. Tell us what you think in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button. And if you want more videos like this, well, then subscribe to the channel.